Google 3.0 just got released and it's actually amazing. We're going to be attempting to build this app over here that's making $600,000 a month. And we're going to do everything in Google's own IDE, Google Anti-Gravity. Here is the app that we're going to be recreating today. Look at these animations over here. As I'm dragging my card over here, you can see some beautiful particles coming out of the card. And the card is rotating in 3D. And if I tap my card, then I get a new code. And I get some beautiful animations, some particles coming out of the card. And I can keep dragging and see seeing all these nice particles coming out of the card. The cool thing over here is that we took that app, recreated it and even made it better. So this entire app and all of its beautiful effects were all built using Gemini 3.0 inside Google's own IDE, Google Anti-Gravity. So here is the plan to build a beautiful motivation quotes app like this one over here. So the prerequisites are two things. You need Xcode and you want to be on a Mac. If you don't have a Mac, then you won't be able to download Xcode. And we need Xcode because we want to build an iOS application and the second thing you need is google anti-gravity this is where we're going to be writing all the code well we're not going to actually be writing any code but we're going to be prompting with ai to build the entire application and this is super important it's totally free at least for now no one knows if this will become paid or anything so for now everything is free so go and test it out it's pretty amazing so what our app does over here i'm just going to go quickly on one of the four core components inside our application so first the generation of the codes second the rotation animation third the particle effects and four tap to get a new code and I'm going to go in detail in each one of these so the first one to generate a new code so for now we're going to pre-fill all of these codes inside our applications so we're going to essentially hard code each single one of them but you can imagine we could have used AI in the future to generate these codes on the fly so all of these codes over here would be totally custom it would be totally relevant to the user using the application the next core feature is the rotation animation and for this we need to enable dragging inside our application and when we do enable dragging when the user is actually dragging inside the code then the code should be rotating as the user is dragging on the screen as you can see over here so if the user is dragging down then the rotation of the card should be going down so everything should be in 3d space and following everything naturally now the next core feature i really like a lot i really like particles so we want our particles to flow naturally from the card and what i mean by that is as you can see over here on the image all the particles are coming out of the edge of the card and this really makes the entire particle effect look perfect and natural. And the second thing that's super important over here is that the particles should follow the direction of the rotation. So remember this feature over here, the rotation animation. So as the user is dragging, the card is rotating with the drag of the finger. And now what we want is the particles to follow the same direction where the card is rotating. As you can see in the image over here, as the card is rotating on the left because the user dragged on the left, then all the particles are also flowing on the left side. And you can imagine, if the user rotates the card on the right, then all the particles will be flowing on the right. Now for a final core feature is tap to get a new code. So this one is pretty simple. If you tap on the screen, then you should get a new code. And what we could do over here is just to apply a nice animation between the two codes. So you can see all the states over here. So you have your first code over here. And then as you tap, you have this beautiful animation and then you get your last code. So this is it. This is the entire plan. Now let's go and start building. So the first thing you want is to create a brand new Xcode project. As you can see, this is a brand new Xcode project over here and then you want to go on your browser and install Google anti-gravity just write that on Google and then whether you're on Mac OS or Windows just tap the download button and install this new IDE and then when you have this new IDE installed you want to go inside and open your new Xcode project so you want to click this open folder over here and then find the folder where you created your iOS project and then open it and over here it's saying that do you want to trust the folder yes we want to trust this folder let me move myself out of the way let me put myself over here okay so here it is let me just zoom in into this IDE because it's very small here are the default files inside our Xcode project and here is the agent tab on the right and we're going to do all of our work over here so what do we want we want to build this motivation app that we saw on the app store so what we can do is to actually go on our browser go on the app store find the app and just take a screenshot of how the app looks and then we can paste that in into Google anti-gravity so I'm going to take the screenshot and then paste this in and this is what we can write for our prompt build me a motivation slash daily affirmation app every time i open the app i should get a new code create a beautiful design and amazing user experience this is a swift ui project and it's very important to specify that this is a swift ui project because i noticed that sometimes google integrity is pretty new so it doesn't really know sometimes that it's working with an ios project so sometimes it starts working with css javascript and html and we don't want that we want to write in swift so we have this first prompt and before we send it let's make sure that we have gemini 3 pro 
selected over here and as you can see we have a bunch of different models over here but let's just select the first one the best model available and then let's send this prompt and as you can see it built a task list over here for what it's going to do it's going to try to implement all of the things over here so it's finished planning and design and now it's tackling the core logic and as you can see over here I create a bunch of new files so code.swift and code service.swift so this is the really cool thing with google anti-gravity it creates a really detailed task list and then step by step it tries to tackle all the tasks over here and it looks like it completed all the work so now what we can do is to go inside xcode make sure that things are working let me see the error over here is saying that code service does not conform to the protocol observable object i think i've seen this error what you want to do is just go inside code service and just import combine over here and that should fix the error okay we don't have any errors anymore now let's run it on an iphone 17 pro let's click run the app is running and here is our beautiful application so here's the code over here and the person that said it and if i tap on this will something oh it looks like i'm getting different codes so the tapping functionality was already implemented for us so this is really cool and just one prompt we got this beautiful application over here honestly we could just take this and ship it to the app store and i'm sure some people download it but we want to make this thing a little bit more beautiful so let's go back inside google anti-gravity now let's open our iphone just to see our app one more time again now as you can see over here the code is surrounded by this card over here and as you saw in the example i have this cool animation where as i'm dragging the card is moving in 3d so this is what we can implement now so this is what you can write you want to basically speak to the ai as if you're talking to a friend so it knows exactly what you're trying to describe and what you want to implement so here's the prompt make it so that the card is 3d when dragging the card around as i'm dragging it it rotates in its center anchor when dragging the card around it should not be moving its position it should simply rotate in 3d while staying in place in the center now let's send this prompt now hopefully if i'm dragging the card around now the card will be rotating in 3d like you saw in the example so for this it created a new implementation plan so it's going to use this implementation plan to create the effect that we want so it's really nice to see it's like a real software engineer so before we code we actually need to plan our design and what we want to build and over here is doing the same thing it's creating an implementation plan and then tackling it with code okay it looks like it finished and uh, let's go back inside xcode let's run our project here is our app again now let's try the dragging hopefully it worked okay nice it definitely works as i'm seeing it over here it works but there is no no background when I'm rotating and if I stop rotating it goes back to its original position and I see the background again okay so I think it should be a very simple fix let's go back into anti-gravity and just ask to fix it when rotating the card the background this appear make it so that it stays exactly the same like when it's not rotating the colors and everything else let's send this prompt okay it finished now let's go back and run the app again now now let's rotate our code over here and as I'm rotating you can see that my drag is actually working I'm dragging the card around and it's rotating in 3d which looks really really cool so if I let it go then it goes back into its original position and then I can keep dragging around all right nice so we built our first feature but this is not finished we want to make this a little bit nicer by adding some particle effects so let's go back inside anti-gravity and write the next prompt so this is what you can write as I'm dragging the card make particles come out they should come out from the edges of the card make sure to calculate this properly make them feel natural as i'm rotating the card the particles should follow the direction of the card they should be in 3d space as well the particles needs to feel natural with randomness and size glow speed direction some flow in front of the card and some flow from the back make sure that you use the best technology to generate the particles for the best performance and for the final touch for the colors let's just say make the particles look like colors from a fairy okay now we have our entire prompt let's send it to anti-gravity and see what it creates for us so this is a pretty big task we're asking it to create particles with some super specific effects and a super specific design and i'm sure it's going to create a big plan for this hopefully we can one shot this entire thing if not then we'll have to come back and prompt it again until we have our desired effect in the end okay we see the implementation plan over here and it has a lot of things from the core logic to the ui and some very that it has to do in the end okay it looks like it finished everything as you can see it created a couple of files over here now let's go back inside xcode and test this out so let me run my application okay particle system does not conform to protocol observable object okay we've seen this error before like i said these ai ids are having trouble just to import this library so let's write import combine and now the error should go out now let's run our application okay so that error is gone but we have this other error over here and for this one i'm 
not going to try to fix it manually. I'm just going to come over here, take a screenshot and then send it to anti-gravity and just write fix this error. Let's send the prompt. Looks like anti-gravity failed to finish the task. So let's just write continue. So this is going to happen with you if you're going to use anti-gravity these days. There's a lot of people using it. So there's a lot of demand and I'm sure the servers are crashing. So if you ever have this error that anti-gravity has an error, it can't continue. Just dismiss the warning and just write continue and it will finish the task for you. So now let's go back inside Xcode and hopefully the error is fixed. Let's run the application. Okay, the application is running. Now let's test out our particles. So if I'm rotating, okay, cool. So I definitely see some particles, but they're definitely not what I want. And I think the background is too light and we can't really see the particles nicely. So let's go and fix that quickly. Let's go on anti-gravity and let's write the background is too light and I can't see the particles. Well, make the background a dark style. Let's send that prompt. It finished. Now let's go back and run the app. So here's the app now. So if I drag, I can see the particles, but they look a bit weird. They're like falling down. I mean, it's a pretty cool style, but not the one that we're looking for. So let's just go back inside anti-gravity and ask it to fix the particle system. Let's say the particles are coming out and that is good, but they have the sort of falling animation. Make it so that it flows out of each edge of the card and it follows the direction of the rotation. Let's send this prompt. Let's go back and test out the app now. So if I rotate my card, cool. I see the particles coming out of the card, but they're flowing a bit too quickly and they're not following the direction of the rotation. So let's go back into ID and fix these two issues. So this is what you can write. The particles are flowing way too quickly. Second, the direction is still not followed. If I'm rotating to the right, all the particles should have a pull towards the right and the same thing for every direction. Let's send the prompt. Let's run the app once again. Hopefully this time the particles should be doing what we asked it to do. If I drag, okay, cool. So it's definitely looking a lot better. If I'm dragging to the left, for example, then we're getting all the particles to the left. If I'm dragging to the right, then I'm getting all the particles to the right. So this is really nice. We're pretty much done our application. One thing I'm not really a fan of is the color. The color is not the best. So let's just go inside anti-gravity and ask it to fix the colors. Fix the colors. The colors are a little too random. Make it look like fairy like colors. Also make some glow a little more. Let's send this prompt and it looks like this will be our final prompt for our application. Okay, it finished. Now let's go back and hopefully for the final time test out our application again. And hopefully this time it should look exactly how we want it to. So let me drag the card and cool. This is looking a lot better. Yeah, I like the colors over here. It has this sort of uh, magical feel to it. So there you have it. You have this beautiful application over here where if you tap, you get a brand new card and then you can drag around and then see all this beautiful effect over here from the rotation and all the particles and these sort of effects. If you were to build them manually, it would take you a long time and you'd probably not do it well, but this is crazy. We asked the AI to do it. We asked Gemini 3.0 to do it and it build us this entire system of beautiful effects and we didn't even have to write a single line of code. So there you have it. You have your recreation of the app on the app store that is making $600,000 a month. But your app over here is a lot nicer. It's more beautiful and it has all these nice effects that the original app doesn't even have. So this is it for the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.